I first came to the Larry Keaton Theater in 2003. My friend Hannah had the lead role in Anna. It was the first time I had been to a play. Up until then, I had always liked watching movies and was building my own movie library. I have several hundred in my collection now, but the first time I saw a live play, I was hooked. I have seen every play here since then, some of them five or ten times. As much as I love watching movies, I also love listening to music and going to concerts. Going to see a play brings the best of both worlds together. When I found out about summer drama camp for children and teens, I asked if I could attend. There are many summer camps I would have liked to attend, but because of my special needs, I am not eligible to attend. I applied for camp here and was not only accepted, but I was awarded a scholarship to attend that first year. From the moment I arrived at my first camp, I felt like I was not only welcome, but that I belonged here too. I didn't feel special coming here. I felt normal, just like everyone else. No one saw my wheelchair, they just saw me. At first I was just so happy to watch the staff teach everyone all about live performance, acting, singing, dancing, and even the technical parts of putting on a play. But the staff did not just want me to watch. They wanted me to be part of it all. Each year I learned a little more. Everyone went out of their way to help me learn. Last year they even built a wheelchair ramp so I could be a cast member in Camp Rock. Once a year I meet with my dad, my brother, and a support coordinator to set some goals for the coming year. Last year they asked me what I would like to include. I told them I want to direct a play. You should have seen their faces. You would have thought I said I want to be the starting quarterback for the Titans. When James Schnelli and Donna Driver heard about what I wanted to do, they decided they could make my dream come true. Donna came up with the idea of Don Coyote and wrote the script. Jane is producing it. While I have learned so much about the performing arts, there are other things I have learned too. I have seen how a community can come together to share and support people from all walks of life. The greatest thing I have learned here is that there is no talent too small not to share, and no dream too big to not see come true. Hi, my name is Ben. I am directing Don Coyote with Donna. What is your name? Ray Rosen. It is nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in to audition today. Are you nervous? Have you ever been in a play before? Oh, yes. If so, which one? And what part did you have? Um, I didn't really like Kiss Me Katie, that was really fun. And then I did Annie last year, and I was with Sandy, and that was fun. Got to hit children. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ben. I am directing Don Coyote with Donna. What is your name? My name is Gary Kaplan. It is nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in to audition today. Thank you. Are you nervous? A little, but that's normal for me. What song are you going to sing for us today? I'm going to sing Back in the Saddle again. Oh, that's normal. I'm back in the saddle again. Out where a friend is a friend. Where the longhorn cattle feed on the old Egyptian weed, I'm back in the saddle again. And um, this is Ben Dazzle. Hi, my name is Ben. 
I am directing the Coyote with Dono. What is your name? My name is Brian. Brian Griffin. It is nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming in to audition today. My pleasure. <laughs> Dono, would you like to explain what comes next? Yes. Okay. Um. I'm going to want you to be Jim for me, so um, I'm going to give you that. Alright everybody, that was a good first scene. We're going to do it again. Ben, do you have anything else you want to say to him? Do you think it could be louder? Louder. Uh, I need it louder. Okay. And do you need more energy? I need more energy. Passion. I need passion. <laughs> Come on, let's get into it. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think about Ben as a director? Ben's a great director because he keeps the mood of rehearsals really happy, and um, everybody has a good attitude because um, he has a good attitude, and uh, it keeps the rest of us uh, really happy. <laughs> About the same time as the other, the cowboy had a sidekick, I think it was his brother. He heard some cows went missing on the outskirts of town, and everyone was fighting with each other. They went out searching all over the land, till they had to turn the cattle with them, so sweet as friend. They got them all back from the crooked cattle man, and that's the cowboy story. Okay, so what is your favorite part of the play so far? Um, the saloon song that me and the other girls sing. Why is that your favorite part? Because it was fun to work on. <laughs> and um, it sounds cool. Yippee -yay! Yippee -yay! It's a cowboy story I'm telling you. You got how it goes? Now it's your turn. Make up an adventure. Okay. What do you hope to gain from this experience doing this play for Ben? <clears throat> for Ben? Yes. Um, it's it's great knowing that you can be a part of something to make his dreams come true. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Cheese it up. <laughs> and um, and it's, it's just a really heartfelt experience knowing that you're helping someone else and you're also having a great time too. What do you think the favorite part of the show is so far that, for you? Probably doing, having the singing. I think Ben's doing a really good job as the director. He has not many problems with saying yes, no, and louder. I put up homework, no more stalling. Louder. Yes. Good. Everything rushes by before us all the blurry side. Yes. Yeah. I'm going inside to watch a cartoon. Louder. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pick on her every time, are you? <laughs> um, how do you think Ben's doing as a director? He's doing pretty good. I mean, I, I, mean, I think the play's going awesome. Is there anybody in the play that you uh, have a good time being in the play with? Yes. <laughs> uh, who would that be? My grandpa. And why is that? Is this the well, or is this the first play that you've ever done with him? Uh, yeah. How do you think he's doing? Um, <laughs> he's still working on his singing. That's all. <laughs> all right. Thanks. How do you think Ben is um, doing as the director? He's awesomeness. Why? Because he's like funny and he like laughs like every joke and he's always like bossing us around and being funny and hilarious. He's awesome. 
all banged up from too much falling. Now that. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving the power. Yes. Um, how do you think Ben's doing as a director? And um, how do you feel about making his dream come true? He's doing good as a director. Um, he's pretty excited about it. And he's funny. Also, kind of weird. <laughs> and he's quiet sometimes, but he's cool. This is Ben. He's a very difficult director, edgy, pushy, bossy. All right, kids, listen up. Getting here, you snackers. So, what is your favorite part of the play so far? My favorite part of the play is that we're riding on top of a stagecoach wagon. Well, it's going to be very exciting when we actually get the stagecoach wagon, I think. That'll be fun. What part do you play in that? Um, a neighborhood kid. So, Anderson, um, your mother is memory, and she's playing the mother in this play. Um, is that the same way she acts at home, or is this any different? So you're saying your mother acts just like this character at home, too? Pretty close. Okay, another question for you. Your brother's in this play with you. How's that working out? I don't like it. Why don't you like it? I don't like him. <laughs> well, thank you for being honest. Okay, everyone, thank you for working hard today. I need you all to work on your lines for tomorrow and during the week. Remember, starting on the 23rd, we will be rehearsing every day. And you are all so special to me. I love working with you. Is this not just the coolest thing you have ever done? All right, uh, Dale, what's your favorite part of the play so far? A uh, couple things. One, working with the kids and seeing the talent that they have, and especially getting to work with my granddaughter. That's a big plus. And being able to look up every now and see Ben smile or laugh makes my day. Alright, here we are looking at the backdrop for the very first time. Painted by Julia Clark. Julia, Ben. Got it all done. Ben, what do you think of the tarp? You think that's our backdrop? What do you think? You like it? Alright? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pretty exciting, huh? <laughs> it's beautiful. How do you think Ben's doing as a director for Don Coyote? Well, as, a, as an actress, the one thing that you want to do is please your director. It's, it's a symbiotic relationship. If he's not happy, then you're not happy. And there are moments where you can see Ben just completely light up and you know that you have done what he is wanting you to do and that's all we as players want is to know if we're doing a good job or not so he has that part down to a team. 